Hello, everybody. Welcome. What's up? You know what? A couple things have happened. Got, got some new stuff to talk about. Uh, I haven't recorded in a while. You haven't noticed because I've been doing one episode a week like I promised. But I recorded two of them kind of back to back, so I've had a couple weeks off. Here's some stuff that's happened. So uh, a few, like a long time ago, earlier in the year, I recorded some blogs and I recorded one that talked about a uh, problem that I have. Back then calling it interstitial cystitis which is a long word for we don't know what's wrong with your bladder. I decided, you know what, I've had enough of this. I haven't been to the doctor in like seven years, eight years, something like that, and I just said, you know what, I need to go back. I need to get this figured out. Actually, no, that was not what I said. I said, I don't wanna, and Kate, my wife, said, you gotta. So I am going to the doctor. So last week was my first run-in with the doctor. And when I say run-in, I mean the worst kind of run-in, like the kind where you don't have any pants on that kind of run in and he's that kind of doctor that was awkward that was bad it was no bueno a lot of things happened that i don't <laughs> i don't want to talk about and you don't want to hear about i'm just i'm just telling you right now you don't want to know but that's happening so i'm i'm going to be going to the doctor and getting stuff checked out and seeing what's going on. Right now they got me on this medication. So here we go, medical talk, ready? So in the bladder there are two nerve endings. One that allows you to, uh, that allows the bladder to fill up, tells it to hold the pee. And then there's another one that says release, unfill, empty. The doctor said, you know, I don't think you have interstitial cystitis. Your symptoms are a little different. So I think we're gonna try some other stuff. And right now I'm on uh, Vesicare which affects one of those nerve endings. And I'm starting to think it's the one that, that tells it to empty because it's gotten a, gotten a little worse. But maybe that's a good thing because then he's gonna put me on the other one after this and maybe that one will work. Maybe that'll, you know, help me not uh, have to go to the bathroom so much, which would be fantastic. Really kind of actually changed my life. I can't really put into words how annoying this disease is because uh, it's not, it's not life-threatening. It's not something that could cause any you know long-lasting health problems or anything like that as far as I know it's just annoying and uh, it gets in the way of my work life my home life my social life anyways if you guys have any questions about that or want to know more feel free to ask me in the comments I can handle that uh, because if you ask me then you obviously want to know I don't want to just be like here's everything and you'd be like oh god I don't want to know that's what I've been dealing with last week on top of that I've been you know just kind of working on my life trying to get myself in order so that I'm not such a, you know, a messed up person. We all have our stuff and I'm just trying to deal with my stuff, you know? This year is just gonna be a crazy year where I just focus on all the stuff that's wrong with me and try to make it better. I've had a lot of years where I didn't do that and now I gotta do it. Hopefully that's uh, encouraging. I wasn't a very encouraging speech, but hopefully the idea of it all is encouraging to you guys and uh, you get something out of it. Cause I, I think it's important for us to to challenge ourselves and to grow and, and do things that we wouldn't normally do and point things out in our lives that aren't okay and get them fixed. That's where I'm at. That's that's what's going on with me. On the lighter side, some things I'm looking forward to, uh, we've got uh, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug coming out uh, Tuesday, April 8th. Uh, this blog will probably actually come out on the 7th. Tomorrow, Desolation of Smaug comes out. Mm. It's gonna be okay, guys. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm being positive right now. I'm being positive. You know why? I'm gonna be super honest with you right now. Here's why I'm positive. I am positive that this year is gonna be hard because I, I'm a Christian. I felt like this year was gonna be a year where I would have to deal with a lot of the stuff that I've been putting off, that I've been trying to avoid. And the Lord has definitely come alongside me and just helped me and given me the grace to deal with this stuff. If I had tried to do what I'm doing now, a year ago, I would have just passed out. I just would have been done. But he has truly blessed me and given me some people in my life who have reached out to me, who have been there to help me, who listen to me. I have people who just listen to me and then I have people who listen to me and help me. And then I have people that, that slap me. I literally have people in my life that are just there to slap. That's not true. That's a lie. God, son, no! So bright! Ah, oh, I'm good. 
All right, let's try something new. Let's try something new to end out the episode. I want a little more audience participation. The AMA that I did a couple weeks ago was a huge hit. You guys loved it, and I got so much positive feedback, and I'm so happy, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed that. Uh, so let's do this. I'm gonna do a new thing where I ask you a question, and I'm gonna ask you the question, and you get to leave a response in the comments, uh, just for my own enjoyment, and, and then you get to be involved. All right, so question of the day is, if you could meet and, and, and meet back up with one person from your past that you miss, uh, let's go living. Let's, let's keep it, you know, lighthearted here. Someone who's still alive. Someone from your past or your childhood that you've lost touch with. One person that you would go back and talk to and just have dinner with or have coffee with. Who would it be and why? Leave it in the comments. I'm going to give you mine right now. When I was in uh, fourth grade, I believe, a missionary family moved to California and they uh, came to our, our school, which was part of a church. And um, their son was in my class. And he was from, they had lived in Africa for years. This kid was, was raised in Africa. Could speak Swahili, do all this stuff, played piano, was talented. And I was like, dude, this kid's crazy. And we actually like became pretty good friends. His name was Clayton. And he was only there for a year and then they moved back to Africa after that. It was such a, a weird, strong connection that we had. Weird in the sense that it was so quick and, and just kind of like, we, we instantly kind of became friends, at least on my, in my eyes. Uh, maybe he didn't see it that way, but um, I have not really seen him since. I found him on uh, MySpace a while back and now uh, we're friends on Facebook, but we haven't really talked to each other. Um, but I would totally love to like go get coffee with that guy and talk to him about his life and and uh, what he's doing now. He's kind of pursuing a music career in Nashville, which is funny because we both live in Nashville now. But yeah, I would love to catch up with him and see how he's doing and then just touch base and see what happened. So if you have anybody like that in your life, I wanna know about it. Uh, one person from your past who was still alive that you were friends with, that you've lost touch with, that you would love to just sit down and have coffee with. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.